go ahead and get these players underway. I am excited. I hope you are excited as well. Pretty hype matchup here. Three, two, one, Tetris. And both of these players have great post-29 play ability. So uh, who knows what kind of fireworks. And we are underway. And Sidnev does, has not done their signature one pushdown point. So maybe a little bit of uh, strategy here. I don't know. Is that a good is that a good sign for Sidnev? Is that a bad sign? Does Sidnev need that one push down point for focus? Does it mean more focus, less focus? Not sure. We shall see. But each player on the board with a couple of Tetrises here. Are their boards flipped? Oh, their board are their boards flipped? Okay, hold on. Their boards might be flipped. Game one. No, their boards are not flipped. Their boards are their boards. <laughs> their boards are their boards. It is Gerald with the one push down point first. They are not flipped. You have me going there for a moment, but no, their boards are not flipped. <laughs> no. Nope. And they each have a push down point. Well, I'm not going to get into that. I will try to not be a participant in the game influence the action maybe like some uh, some of those other you know b tier tetris tournaments uh, do I'm looking through liquidpedia today you know trying to get prepared with some knowledge before these matches so i can like say some things and give some people some information and of course they have a a tier ranking of these tournaments you know, just uh, in terms of how important these tournaments are and how seriously you should take them. And they had, they didn't even have a category for CTM. They had it as a monthly category, right? They didn't put it in the S tier, A tier, whatever. And they had CTWC as S tier. But how can that be true? Since not everybody in the world has the ability to enter. So it is necessarily a diluted imperfect model for a uh, for a Tetris tournament and CTM clearly perfect because anybody in the world can participate Sidnev running into a few issues here 225 Sidnev 263 for Gerald so it seems to me that you know CTM should be like S tier CTWC may be A tier my opinion oh it's both S tier and monthly all right well I don't know I gotta I gotta challenge CTWC as an S tier tournament like all the best players can't even come. <laughs> Two fifty six here for Sidnev, who has recovered. All right, it is S tier. All right, it only said monthly though, so I wasn't sure. All right, good. All right, I feel a little bit better, but we got to look into this CTWC thing because I mean, really, not all the best players in the world can come. Should they really be an S tier tournament? <laughs> I kid our friends at CTWC. I'm just chiding them for fun. Of course, it is a top flight uh, event. And speaking of flights in the event, you want to stay tuned after the red bracket because our good friend Kingsman will be hosting a CTWC support stream for players who need a little bit of a financial boost in order to get there. So that will happen right after this broadcast, unless this is like super short. 348 here for Sidnev, 402 for Gerald. Gerald gets a Tetris, so 425. Um, but uh, but yeah, so uh, Kingsman will be hosting that. I don't know who the players are. I don't really know anything. I guess I'm supposed to, oh no, I kind of spire there for Sidnev. You know, for example, will these two players who are, you know, two of the top five players, as Game Scout says, at least in some measure, you know, in some under some measurements, will they even be able to be a TTWC this year? You know. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'm kidding. Well, I'm really only half kidding. I mean, 
All right, 466 here for Sidnev. I would say there's a nugget of truth in what I'm saying, but obviously CTWC is a big deal, huge tournament. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see these two players, Sidnev will be there is what I hear. Okay, that's good news. Five fourteen Sidnev, five sixty four Gerald. No, but I, uh, but I, I will be there. So that I think that's gonna bring it down, like one tier level. If Andy shows up. All right here's a little bit of a delayed burn that Sidnev is gonna try to do, but needs a long bar. And gets it, but piles up, up a bunch of stuff on top of the right side well here on 19. Now, 19, no problem for these players, or at least only a minor problem. We'll see. All right, Sidney, going to get that dirty triple. Oh, true. Anpu says CTWC doesn't allow emulator players, so it's C tier. True. <laughs> 555 Gerald 659 here on 19 into 20 now at 685 so 100,000 point lead for Gerald that is a big transition and uh, I don't know exactly what the transition number was so we're looking at Sidnev's board but both players here now into 2021 levels Game Scout saying they should have every strong contender for the title except for Tommy and Gerald. And I would say Gerald would be a you know one of the favorites if Gerald were there. I know. I guess I will be on uh, Classic Tetris 2 duty again this year, relegated to the bottom of the barrel. One of these days, guys, I'll make it to the main, the main stage. I'll get my, you know, minor leagues for Vandy. Seven fifty-four for Sidnev, eight thirty-nine for Gerald. So Gerald's still with about, you know, ninety thousand something point lead. All right, Sidnev with some cleanup to do here. Listen, you got you got you got to say stuff on the stream so that people comment on YouTube, right? See, that's engagement. <laughs> you got you got to just say stuff. Oh, Gerald's gonna top out. We had a dirty Tetris set up in column six, could not get it. Just got I think S or Z S bursted, and just could not find a piece. So Gerald gonna top out eight forty nine. We got a uh, we got a chase down opportunity here for Sid to have a little mini chase down. Eight fifty is the target. And Sidnev up above, you know, where the next box would be if you could see it. And having to bring this down. Oh my word. Totally roasted by RNG Gerald. And looks like Sidnev just has a few more pieces here. Uncovers that right side long bar will clinch it for Sidnev if it comes. It does come after a skim, and there it is. Sidnev gonna take game one GG's. All right, both players are ready. Sidnev up one game to none over Gerald. Let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Game two. This round one matchup. Sidnev looking to get through into the semis to get Masters win number one. After five appearances in the finals. Gerald has won twice. One with a face and the other one without a face. So I don't know. We got the we got a new era, the face cam era. And Sidnev back with the one push down point. So we love it. Gerald with five push down points. So I don't know. A little bit of a push down point waving contest going on here. Rhubarb says, time to split monthly Tetris era into faceless Gerald and faceful Gerald eras. Yeah, I agree. It did seem to mark a new, or it did seem to draw a line between 
you know, kind of the old and a new way of looking at things. We got, you know, the Gerald Baguette era and the Gerald Face era. The BF era before face, the AF era after face. Oh, yeah, that's true. There was a kind of interstitial era with Gerald refusing to play during the yeah, face cam requirement era as well. Reminder that if you do want to contribute to the prize pool, you can do so at ctm.gg slash matcherino. And that is how the prize pool is funded 100%. It's funded by you, the fans. That includes fans on Twitch, fans on YouTube, whatever. If you are watching this, wherever you're watching it, then uh, you are part of this. Gerald's board totally jacked up. We'll go to work trying to fix this. Actually... Oh, no, was not able to get a long bar over to the right, but got one in the center just to bring the stack down, get a triple. 167, Gerald, 285 for Sidnav. Gerald's board now at a workable height. No problem here. And will Gerald set up for the dirty? Yes. Will Gerald get the dirty? Answer is yes. Dirty Tetris here for Gerald. Column two, 196 for Gerald, 331 for Sidnev. Sidnev sets up that long bar in column two to get the Tetris well established and gets the bar for the Tetris. The bar, yes. The beam. If you haven't watched uh, the, on YouTube, if you haven't watched Nerd the Box. Oh, look at that adjustment from Sidnev to make room for that incoming J piece with that Z, just the last second Z. Pretty cool. There we go. Z spin. Just all right. Just really enjoying doing things with those Z's. Uh, yeah, if you won't, haven't watched the uh, YouTube video that just came out, Nerd the Box, it's pretty uh, humorous and informative video about the names, all the names of the straight rectangular eye piece long bar beam piece. I enjoyed that very much. 239 Gerald, 448 for Gerald. So it has a 200,000 point lead. Gerald will get one here. Yeah, on the box or somewhere in the, you know, in the, on the box or in the manual, it says beam. And so all this time, double tuck of the T there, had plenty of opportunity there for Gerald. All this time, you know, NES Cardinal, NES Cardinality speedrunner and uh, retro streamer I'm saying beam whenever he played Tetris I was like oh my god the beam where did he get that well it was right on the box so you know lol he was right though the beam so yeah check it out on YouTube nerd the box just like it sounds pretty good video I enjoyed it I like the nerds uh, nerd the boxes delivery A lot of great Tetris content out there already done and to be made. 586 Sidnep, 366 for Gerald. Six ten for Sidnev. Sidnev with a six. 37 transition. Gerald with a 449. So tall order here for Gerald. Sidnev, of course, has in CTM anyway, the all-time highest level 19 transition score. As you would expect, uh, Sidnev has a ton of very high transition, very consistent at getting high transition scores, but the only player, Sidnev, to have a 700k plus transition score in a CTM Masters event 531 Sidne uh, 531 Gerald 720 for Sidnev.
Gerald with a Tetris. So they have been super clean so far. Lean and clean. Just like Vandy in 2024. Vandy will be lean and clean. You just wait. Tetris Sidnev 781. Now Sidnev into 23 at 811. Gerald 668. Tetris. Yeah, Sidnev already up one game tonight and a huge lead. Oh no, and this is uh, maybe the first little slowdown for Sidnev in this game. This will give Gerald a chance if he can stay clean to crawl back into the game. And Tetris for Gerald, 760. Seven ninety, Gerald. So crawling back here, Gerald now back by only forty four thousand points. That's a Tetris and a half at these levels, and another Tetris, Gerald. There is one for Sidnev to get it back. So yes, about a forty seven thousand point lead, Tetris and a half or so. And now Gerald just has to, you know, avoid running into the same kind of slowdown as Sidnev. Is Sidnev back in another little bit of slowdown? So this could be an opportunity for Gerald to take the lead. Sidnev still digging a bit. Tetris, Gerald, 898. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't have time to hit the mute button. But then again, people have said they want to hear the sneeze. I have pulled the audience and they want to hear the sneeze. I don't know why. 984 Sidnev back clean again. Gerald. A little bit ahead in lines, not too many. 949. <laughs> little turd first time chatter says, hey, this match is nothing to sneeze at. There you go. But um bump. <laughs> Tetris for Sidnev has the max out here on 28. Gerald one away from that max out. One line to go. Just gonna take that triple into 29 does not want to risk having a rough board going into 29 there's another triple uh a95 for sidnev into 29 actually set up for a tetris in column three gerald trying to keep this low gerald setting up for, i mean uh, sidnev setting up for tetrises but has to uh, uh cover it up and just start to bring this down again and trying to set up again is set up waiting out the bar and not coming. Create some gaps in the stack there. Will not be Tetris ready again. Try twice. B25, Sidnev. A33, Gerald hanging on. And Sidnev, yeah, just trying to, in that column three, just trying to set up that column three for the Tetris. Gets a Tetris. B75, Sidnev. Gerald keeping it low. Uh, about 125,000 points behind Gerald. Sidnev trying to just stay in that, seems to want to stay in that column three. And trying to uncover here, is uncovering Gerald, oh no. That was a little, a little worrisome, but Gerald's still low. That square over, trying to bring this down, trying to build up. Sidnev at C43, A85 for Gerald. Falling further behind, Sidnev set up again for a Tetris in that column three well. And gets it, has some gaps in the stack, so this will take some more burning to do, and that long bar to the left does not get all the way over. So Sidnev will have to get one over, and now this is a, kind of a spiral situation for Sidnev. Sidnev's gonna top out at C96. Gerald has 28 lines to go. Gets a Tetris down the middle. The target is C97. Gerald needs to be pretty efficient here. Two Tetrises would just about get him there, but getting a little bit droughted with a covered well can't oh does not go for the t-spin needs to uh, clear out that left side so it's going to go down to the wire here 13 lines to go gerald tetris c60 one more tetris would do it for gerald is set up for that tetris if the long bar comes this is it and there's a long bar over for the tetris d11 gerald takes game number two with a chase down ggs great game gerald hanging in there hanging around hanging around Stays around long enough, find out the top out score, and then get there. So great play here from Gerald and, you know, amazing from Sidnev as well with the 1.296. So great game.
Tied up. All right, both players are ready. What was once a best of five, now a best of three between these two great players, Sid, Nev, and Gerald. Let's go. Three, two, one. Tetris. Yeah, the, 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 uh, yeah. After this stream, one push down point, by the way, Sid, Nev. So there you go. Back in a groove. But uh, yeah, after this stream, there will be a special edition of Tetris Friendlies here on twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris, raising funds to send players to CTWC. You know, not everybody can just afford once a year to go out and to fly to Portland, Oregon, and stay there in a hotel for several days and pay the entry into the event and pay the entry into the convention. So. Uh, it's become a thing here where there is a little fundraising stream. 2022, they did it. It was a great time. Nick PS with the subscription. Thank you so much, Nick PS, for the tier one sub three months. Welcome to Club Blue. Zempro with the raid party of two. Wow, so you and like a bot. Thanks. Oh, Anpu uh, redeemed the no tickling the controller voice this stream. So, all right, no more, no more of that voice. Hello, Cobra, Zempro, FZ, FZ, sorry, T Storm is here. Galileo Sunshine, Swinch, the new one on me, Yajko. Marvino, Akatu, Burrito, Dad, Biggie, Mac. Purple Derpster, probably my favorite. AO Pidgeotto, T and Rain, Cat Kit 91, Wallband, Katsu Girl, FCR Plays, you're all here. Bart TV is here. Oh, wow. Okay, now we can start. So thanks so much, all, for being here in the chat, joining us on twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. 198 here for Sidnev, 156 for Gerald early on. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Another Tetris Sidnev, 203. So down by about three Tetrises. Tetris is here on 18 worth. How much are they worth? 22,800. One of the few games where zero is a level. Well, it's all kinds of weird things with the scoring. Like why, why would the 20th level not be 20 times 1200 for a Tetris? Why would it be 20? You know, that doesn't make sense. Well, because zero is a level. 234 for Gerald, two, uh, 341 for Sidnev. Sitting up over 100,000 points. Gerald digging. Both players with super bland grayish green shirts. Just very bland. Both wearing glasses. So just two bland glasses wearing players, really. Evesy said, does that mean that level 18 is the 19th level? Why, yes, it does. Oh, Galileo coming in here saying it's the first ordinal level, but the zeroth nominal level. Oh, yes, yeah, very interesting. Thank you, Galileo. Coming back from the dead, coming from Pisa, Italy, to give us this knowledge. Thank you so much, Galileo. Alright, Sidnev 427, Gerald 288. Yes, again, Sidnev getting out to a pretty big lead. <laughs> What's going on, Zeno? 
Tetris for Sid Dev, 478. So neither player with super... Oh, of course, Gerald, you know, back up by about 10 lines, so a little bit closer than it would appear by the score, but still, that lead is real. There's real points. Tetris, Gerald, 381. Sidnev trying to take a few, has to take a few skims here, and long bar down Tetris for Sidnev into 19 at 504. Gerald's board a little concerned, Froge. <laughs> As we approach the level 19 transition, we'll have to figure this out. Wings that uh, L piece or J piece over to the left. I always forget which color is which. And yeah, S Gerald kind of in danger here, pretty high. Playing 19 fairly high now as a roller can probably get out of this, but you know, never a guarantee. Gerald did not like that placement, or at least maybe the piece he got. Long bar over for the triple, so that'll take some pressure off of Gerald's stack. But still some work to be done. 408 Gerald, 591 for Sidnev. Oh, there you go. Well, that uh, was a dangerous situation there. Gerald 416, bringing this down row by row. And there you go, has uncovered that right side. There is a Tetris well there immediately kind of misdrops that square, can't get it to the left. So there'll be another slow down here, which Gerald will address immediately. Not waiting around, not gonna pile on top of it and try to get that Tetris first. No, it just goes Goes into, into cleanup mode immediately. You can Tetris, you know, later. Tetris, Gerald, 508 on 23, 707 for Gerald, uh, for Sidnev on 23. So over 200, or just about a 200,000 point lead for Sidnev. Yeah, we are playing this match first out of order. Ramations is playing in another event at this time, so to be able to join us after Tetris for Gerald 600k Tetris for Sidnev 829 and Gerald now clean set up the score does score 662 set up again looking for the beam Where is the beam? There is the beam. 693, Gerald Sidnev in kind of a uh, uh, cleanup mode here, but easy. Did have a long bar uh, or line spin set up, but opted to fill it in like a normal person. So that's probably pretty good. The Game Scout now dropping stats in the chat. The new online facts. Um, Game Scout, why don't you explain for the fans in chat what FMS is? What is FMS? 833 Gerald. Sidnev has the max out here on 28. Sitting up there in the center well. Tetris for Sidnev. And Sidnev into 29 at A65. Gerald again with a kind of janky board before a transition. Gerald into 29 at 914. So Gerald going to work, trying to clear this down. Oh, that's a great L piece to help bring this down. Okay, now it's set up. Okay, Sidnev. Now, B07, I think that was a Tetris down the middle. Could be wrong, but... And Gerald gonna top out again. So Gerald here, a little bit early. You expect Gerald to go a bit deeper into 29, but here, gonna top out, and I'm not sure if there was like a missed uh, tap or something like that, but there you go. And Sidnev is good here in game three. Down the center, Sidnev. Gonna top out here. 
Both players are ready here in game four. Sydney have up two games to one. Let's go three to one uh, Tetris. See, not even smart enough to say the word Tetris. Yeah, Got to explain it for us 90 IQ people. It's like, you know, batting runs and um, runs created, like all these sabermetric stats. Well, no, I think batting average is probably easier to understand than fair median score. It's okay, I get hits and then, you know, the number of times I was at bat, it's pretty easy. Now, of course, yeah, sacrifice flies and fielder's choices and things like that. Well, maybe it is, all right, maybe it's equivalent. One fourteen zero zero one for Sidnev. All right, Gerald with the uh, kind of <laughs> abbreviated bits there, so uh, nothing's gonna fit in there. We'll have to burn that away. Yeah, I might just call it a median score. Sidnev's board kind of messed up here. Not sure if controller problem or something, but. Sivnev looks very concerned and should be because this is a bit janky here, but all right, does have a kind of a path to clear this out pretty easily. Yeah, if somebody called it the, you know, walk adjust, walk sacrifice fly adjusted batting average, people would be like, wait, what? But if you just call it batting average, like people will get it. And then you can explain the nuances later. So if you just call it median score and then explain the calculation to those who really care, I think that might be a little more digestible. I don't know. It's just my thoughts. I don't know. What, what do I know? I don't know anything. I'm an idiot. 182 for Sidnev, 258 for Gerald. So Gerald will lead in game four. But, you know, I don't know. The FMS, it's already been, you know, the seal has been broken. So it's now called what it's called. So let's maybe not worry about it. What's your unfair median score? Yeah, well, true. Going on, Pumpy Heart. Sacred Nova. Vicious Rhubarb. Gazurchu is here. Okay, good. I was starting to get worried. Gerald with about a hundred and, you know, something teen thousand point lead. Sidney have going to cut into that with a Tetris. Tetris for Gerald to get it back. Yeah, double kill screen was not a good name because that already exists, right? People think, oh, both players get to kill screens. So that had to change, right? Can't have... There's nothing else called fair media score, so it's okay. You know, listen, we're in the early stages here of getting this uh, established as a, a real e-sport. 335 for Sidna, 428 for Gerald. All right, like literally split second adjustment there for Sidnev, 358. Gerald still in the lead by about 118,000. Oh, 
Oh, there's kind of a misdrop there, Sidnev, with the reaction to that. So, like, whoops. That's all right. Going to clear that away. Will cause Sidnev some efficiency, though. We're starting to cut into this lead by Gerald, but going to slow, uh, slow her down a little bit. Four seventy one transition for Sidna, five fifty two for Gerald. Another Tetris. We got uh, here into twenty nine, five seventy eight for uh, Gerald into twenty. Uh, I'm sorry, into nineteen. Sorry, I'm distracted by the wonderful smells coming from the kitchen. Sue is making a keto lasagna. 653 from Gerald. So, you know, yeah, I'm mostly carnivore plus fasting, but, you know, a little cheat here for a lasagna, gonna be okay. Although, tomatoes, particularly bad for me. Because they trigger. Um, uh, psoriasis. So, there you go. There's some facts about Vandy. 633 for Sidnev, 705 for Gerald. Gerald's board climbing a bit. Take a couple of skims here, okay. Trying to access that hole. Gonna pile some more weight on that hole. <laughs> I'm a very experienced keto dieter, Lady Vader, so I appreciate it. I, I am good. Never had a problem. Seven eighty three for Gerald, seven twenty four for Sidnev. All right, Lady Lady Vader and I will have to fight about keto later. We got Tetris happening. Eight eighteen for Gerald, seven ninety five for Sidnev. Gerald's stack uh, climbing the board, or the Matrix, as I have learned it is called in Nerd the Box's video. The Matrix. Oh, no, that left side for Gerald. Gets a long bar over. Holy moly. Clutch move there. We'll see if it uh, pays off. Oh, my word. I'm always so impressed that pieces can get over there. It looks like Gerald is just a couple of pieces away, but no, ends up having a cover the well again board climbing again uncovers the well still the well cover there is a long bra right that's a long bar when you have a covered well <laughs> the long bra and uncovers the well and gets a tetris 898 sidnev into 29 at 989 gerald needs to win this game to stay in the tournament And Gerald now into 29, 944. Oh no, that misdrop of the square. This is probably gonna be top out for Gerald, and it is, and Sidnev will move on to the top eight. Gerald, you are out, but you are amazing, and we all love you, and we hope to see you again next month in Faster Masters. Will you play Faster Masters? I don't know, but we will have Faster Masters, and hopefully Gerald will be there. But Sidnev, yes, if you wanna go ahead and take a victory lap, you can do so, and then we will stay on the screen just for the sake of stats, I guess. Now we have to stay on the screen so that it's recorded, so Game Scout can log this match and have it count. And it's a good score anyway, so we'll see. Highest all-time score in a CTM match is a 1.7 for Alex T. Actually, Alex T has like <laughs> six of the top 10 results. Sidnev right now at the 1.2, gets the long bar down for the Tetris. Needs a 1.6 plus to crack the top 10 all time. I mean 6.9, but in the, you know, in the 39 era, right? 
in the level 39 era, so not in, you know, you know what I mean, in the level 39 super kill screen era, the efficiency era that is forced here. the 1.4 and getting drowned here can't get the bars over and we'll top out with a 1.44 so gg sidnev all right i'm gonna run a quick ad we will set up the next match which is gonna be fractal and ramations hopefully they are both available so we'll be back in a moment G hey everybody this is your old pal vandweller host of classic tetris monthly and i'm asking you to do me a favor if you like this video hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. Join our Discord server, the largest classic Tetris community online at ctm.gg slash discord and follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.